This is When It Rains, another Peridot and Steven episode, and just as imagined, it's adorable. Uh, but there is a lot of uh, story to this one as well, which is good. Uh, pretty much, she's still locked in the bathroom, and won't come out, and is not giving any information, but the only one that seems to be able to communicate at all with her is Steven, and the gems have to go, and they, they warp away to something, and... Um, Garnet says, love you, which, th that was really cute, um, in which case, uh, a thunderstorm happens, Peridot comes out, thinks it's the cluster, which he says is something that's gonna destroy everybody, um, and is afraid, thinks all life is over, Steven explains it, and then she decides that, you know, she trusts him enough that she can reveal all this information, takes him to the kindergarten, and, that always sounds funny to say, uh, and pretty much shows that this is, like, if I'm right, a forming of a bunch of the different shards and stuff where there's a couple of them running around stuff. This is, like, one giant one, uh, which is either going to be, like, one big creature or maybe, like, a bunch of these little creatures all together. Uh, and it's pretty much going to wipe out the Earth, Big Shock, and they can't stop it, or Paradox thinks they can stop it, but... She misunderstands what Steven knows and his abilities and such. So, eventually at the end, opens up to the Crystal Gems and says, Okay, let's, I have something to tell you. So, obviously you gotta tell him about the cluster. Though it'd be great if she just tells a big lie again, but that, where would that go? That'd be totally pointless. Um, so, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a good episode that has a, has a lot of revealing of, Kind of the next big story arc, you know, where before it was like something's going to come to Earth and destroy it. What is this something? Who is this something? I mean, now it's something that's in the Earth and we know what it is and it's going to eventually, as she put it, hatch. And they have to find a way to stop it. So, you know, that's cool. I like that. Um, I like to see what this cluster looks like. Um, I'm hoping it's not just a bunch of them because as cool as those hands and arms and eyes and stuff are, and they are very creative. Uh, there's only kind of so much I can look at them, so I'm kind of hoping it's, like, one big monster that's, like, really cool, because the designs on this show are so good, uh, especially whenever they fuse together, so I'm hoping it's kind of like that, like, all the shards fusing together, maybe to make one big abomination, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so this is, uh... It has those cliches that, for some reason, I don't mind. I really love those cliches when someone is afraid of something every day because they're not used to the world, and then somebody's like, no, this is how it works, let me show you. I, If done right, I really love those. I think they have to be done with characters that I enjoy. That's one of the reasons I like the movie Thor. You know, it's like, I've seen that a million times, but I like Thor, I like that guy. Um, and I like seeing him interact with this stuff and confuse stuff and I think again when you have good characters going through that it can become interesting you put up with a lot more if you have good characters uh you know and Peridot's a good character and Steven's a good character um and yeah I like the interaction I like even the cliche of her stepping out in the rain and enjoying it and kind of the whimsical music going and stuff I mean how many times have we seen that but it's I like Peridot. I like her connection with Steven. I like that they're roughly the same size and they sort of help each other out. I like that there's more of a connection there between those two than, like, you know, her and Andy are gems. She doesn't trust the other gems. Uh, so I really like that. It's a very unlikely connection. But even at the beginning, you can kind of see it's being set up because Steven is not that hostile towards her. Even when they don't know who she is and she's just whether they see her on the screen and everything uh he wants to talk to her and actually gets the male lot of trouble but he doesn't give up on that he's still very nice very social he tells her to have a nice day after she tried to kill them um i don't know why her particularly and eh, maybe it's he seems to be like that with a lot of people so i don't know or maybe he saw something in her that you know he thought you know, could be turned over or something nice, I don't know. But, uh, it's really cute. Uh, I really like the connection that the two of them have. Um, I like the way they help each other out, I like the way they communicate. And, yeah, it's, uh, 
if there's gonna be more of this, I'm totally happy with that. Uh, cause I really like, and they're kind of opposites too. One is very cold and calculating and wants to kill everybody and stuff, and the other is, you know, very nice, very calm, very, you know, welcoming. So, yeah, I, I really like that connection. I think they work very, very well. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, I can't think of too much, just, just that we got another arc going, which is really nice, another kind of main story, another big threat, uh, which is really cool to see. I, I kind of like it's, you know, it doesn't just stop at Peridot, it's like there's something else coming, something big, um, but Peridot plays a bigger part than she did before, so, well, she played a big, pretty big part before, like, technically, but now, character-wise, she plays a bigger part, so... Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this direction. I'm liking these uh, episodes tying together and sort of having this big reveal and this sort of this other big story going. So definitely enjoying it. Definitely, uh, uh, definitely a big Peridot fan. Peridot and Steve. Like I, I always really like Peridot, but the two of them together especially uh, are so much fun, and and they're just a great deal of fun to watch. So um, definitely enjoying it, and we'll see you in the next one later.